it's Alicia here and in this video I'm going to be talking about how curiosity creates healing. And the reason that this works is because curiosity is a higher state of consciousness or a higher frequency or harmonic than feelings of fear or despair or whatever it is that you're currently feeling that you feel like you need to heal from. So when you come into a higher state of consciousness, then these lower density energies can dissolve because now you're at a higher frequency than where your problem is currently existing. So that's why it's really, really powerful to come into a, t a state of curiosity when you're going through a difficult time, when you have a disease or an illness or whatever it might be that's showing up in your life. So I would invite you to get curious. So what that would look like and what I do actually every time something quote unquote bad seems to happen is I ask myself, how is this the best thing that could have ever happened to me? And I learned this from my mentor, Dr. Kim, that helped her move through some really difficult things that she's been through in her life. And the point is not actually to answer the question. You can try if you want to, if that makes you feel better, but the point is to get into the frequency of the question. Just getting curious alone is already increasing your state of consciousness from one of fear or hopelessness or whatever you were feeling before. So ask yourself, how is this the best thing that could have happened for me? It may be hard to feel it in that moment, so you can uh, play around with different things that you need to say to yourself to create that level of curiosity. It could be like, what if it didn't have to be this hard? What if this didn't have to last forever? What if I didn't have to feel this way? What if I could feel lighter? What if tomorrow I could be way happier than I am today? What if I could heal from this disease or illness spontaneously? What if I didn't have to buy into the, to the diagnosis that I've been given by my doctor? Whatever it might be, get curious about it. Tune into your body and see what feels true for you. So that's what I would invite you to do the next time you are going through something, um, whether you have a disease or an illness and you feel hopeless and stuck or you're in fear, I would invite you to, to get curious about what you're, even getting curious about what you're feeling in your body. Just be like tuning in. What are you feeling? Hi body, I'm here for you. I'm listening. Because a lot of the times it's just your body wanting your attention, wanting your awareness. To what's going on because that's why there's something going on in the first place your body is trying to get your attention to show you that you're out of alignment in some way shape or form so sometimes giving your body your attention is literally all it needs to heal that disease that illness or that problem that's showing up in your life so that's why getting curious about what you're feeling can allow those energies to dissolve so you can just tune in and be like hmm i wonder what i'm feeling right now what what am i feeling right now why am i feeling this right now what if it didn't have to be this way? What if fill in the blank? You can come up with a sentence that resonates with you, but as long as it brings you into a state of curiosity that feels a little bit lighter than the fear and hopelessness that you were feeling before, that is what will create healing. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and hit the bell button if you wanna be notified the next time I upload a video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.